let's talk Google ad bid strategies before I kind of go into the nitty gritty and into specifics of which one is right for you. You need to understand the different types of bid strategies that exist. I like to think of the different bid strategies as really falling into two distinct categories. The first category is manual CPC bidding. This is where you as an advertiser choose the maximum amount that you are willing to spend on a click. It's a very manual based process and it doesn't lean into Google's AI and machine learning and algorithm to optimize for what your business goals are. The other type of bid strategies is the complete opposite to this, where you don't control what you are uh, bidding on a for a click. Google is deciding based on what your objectives are, what your conversion events are. So you need to understand those really two fundamental differences between the different bid strategies. If I show you in a live account here, I've gone straight into the settings section in a Google search campaign. And as you can see here, I click on bidding and these are the dis two distinct categories. These are the automated bid strategies and this is the manual bid strategy. So there's only one type of manual bid strategy, obviously manual CPC bidding, but there's really a number of different of these automated bid strategies and choosing the, the right automated bid strategy is often tricky for people. I've had a number of instances where people have come to me and they've said, oh, help me, Alana. I was doing manual CPC bidding and I switched to, let's say, maximize conversions and suddenly my ads aren't even spending any money and there's plenty of budget. So you need to be aware of what you need to do to prepare your account such that it will be successful with these automated bid strategies. So my first recommendation for you is not to do the Google automated bid strategies on a brand new Google ad account. Automated bid strategies work with data. And if you have a brand new Google ad account, it's not going to have any click data, number of impressions, let alone any conversion data. And these automated bid strategies need data to be successful and to improve with their performance. So often we will wait at least 60 to 90, maybe even 120 days uh, for an account to get established with enough data before we will even contemplate implementing an automated bid strategy. So if, if you have a brand new account, my advice to you is to do manual CPC bidding. Even if it's not that profitable from the outset, you're getting data through the account. The Google algorithm is understanding who is your target customer and what leads are coming in at the certain uh, CPA amount before you can then graduate to the automated bid strategies. When you have a well-established account, then the automated bid strategies can actually be really, really successful in your performance. If I show you real quick in this Google ad account, this is a very well-established account. It's been around for a very long time. So it's got a lot of data that's gone through uh, its pixel. And as you can see here, this data is from September to mid-January. So we've got quite a few months of data. And it's incredibly consistent because this chart shows the cost versus the conversion. So really these lines are very closely related. The more we spend, the more conversions we get. The less we spend, the less conversions we get. And if I scroll across here, you will see that the bid strategy type for this particular, these types of campaigns is maximize conversions. So now I'm gonna go through the different types of automated bid strategies and tell you which one could be right for your particular business. As you can see here, there's kind of four distinct types that you could do. Maximize clicks is essentially you telling Google, I wanna get as much traffic as I possibly can for the budget that I have set. Truth be told, I actually rarely use maximize clicks as a bid strategy. The only time that I would use it is if I am, if I've tried maybe one of these other ones, which I'm going to touch on in a minute, and I didn't really get any clicks or any traffic, then I go to maximize click to kind of, you know, breathe some life into my campaign. Uh, and it's a temporary measure before I graduate to this next type of bid strategy, which would be maximize conversions. So 
a maximized conversions bid strategy is essentially your way of telling Google, hey Google, I wanna get as many leads as possible for my budget that I have set at my campaign. I find maximize conversions to actually be a pretty good strategy, pretty good bid strategy to use. And often that is the first type of bid strategy, automated bid strategy that I implement. And if leads are coming in at a good level, I'd keep it at that. Sometimes though, with maximize conversion bid strategy, I find that the cost per lead is too high, in which case I might graduate from that to be what's called the target CPA amount. So the target cost per acquisition. And this is my way of telling Google, I want to get as many leads as possible but not at any cost. I want to get them uh, at a certain amount. So if I click this, you can set your target CPA amount. So if leads are coming in at, let's say, $35, like that, um, you know, in, in the other account that I showed you just earlier in the video, if that's too high, I can set my target CPA amount to be a bit lower and Google will try and achieve that target. Word of warning though, don't set it too far from what your actual CPC is coming in at. So as I said before, if your actual, CP, your actual CPA is coming in at $35 and it's too high, I wouldn't jump straight to you know $20 if that's what your goal is. I would probably set it at $32, maintain your flow of leads and then slowly drop it over time, okay? But target CPA bid strategy is a really, really good bid strategy uh, to use. And I find it successful for a lot of our students inside teachtraffic.com. The other type of bid strategy might be maximize conversion value. This is really for e-commerce type businesses where you do have a conversion value attached to a conversion event, mainly the purchase amount. And the subset of that might be to have a target ROAS or target return on ad spend. Okay, but like I mentioned before, with the target CPA bidding, if your ROA actual um, target ROAS, or sorry, if your actual ROAS is coming in at let's say three hundred percent, I wouldn't set your target ROAS to be you know seven hundred percent because it's too far from what your actual ROAS is coming in at. So if you are going to implement this, set your target ROAS amount. See it's how it's a percentage to be what it's actually coming in at, and then slowly. If that's too, it's not, if it's not good enough, look to increase it to improve that profitability of your campaign. Hopefully that makes sense. You can let me know in the comments if you have a question. I'm happy to answer any questions about this. And then this other type of bid strategy is target impression share, where you basically saying to Google, I want my ads to appear either anywhere on the results page, top of the results page, or absolute top. So top being above the organic results, in one of those stack of three or four ads, or the absolute top is the number one ad spot, but you can set a max CPC limit and the percentage impression share that you wanna target. I actually rarely use this bid strategy because you know I don't wanna pay whatever is needed to be in the number one spot. Sometimes it's completely absurd <laughs> what that CPC uh, comes in at and just not viable, not financially viable. The only time I might consider doing it is for a particular, maybe a brand campaign or perhaps a retargeting search campaign. But really, I can't think of any other possible uh, instances that I might look to do that. So there you have it. They're the different bid strategies you need to think about in managing your campaigns in 2024. If you like this video, feel free to check out our website, teachtraffic.com. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up icon to like this video and subscribe for more videos coming your way. Thanks so much for watching.